Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we're going to be continuing my series on Is This Spirit For You? In this video, focusing on Volcano Looming High. The setup says, place one presence and a Badlands on your starting board in a mountain of your choice. Push all to Han from that land. The playstyle says, benefits more than most from getting presence onto the board. In addition to the usual benefits, it can fuel an explosive eruption. This can result in a huge turn, but if overdone, the following turn or two may be very constrained. Bigger eruptions are extremely powerful, but cause blight, and the invaders may not provide the luxury of enough time to build up to that desired pressure. It is a moderate complex spirit, extremely high offense, low control, low fear, low defense, and a decent amount of utility. It uses both Badlands and Wilds. Looking at the special role, you have three special roles. The first one says, Mountain Home, your presence can only be added or moved into mountains. Collapse, when your presence is destroyed, in that land deal one damage per destroyed presence to both invaders and to Han. And finally, Volcanic Peaks, your power cards gain plus one range if you have three or more presence in the origin land. Looking at the growth options, you are a 0, 2, 1 which means you have a reclaim that doesn't place presence, a two presence placement option, and then a presence placement option that also gives you energy, card plays, and power card gains. Your tracks are pretty powerful as you end at 5-4, and you have two earth, two fire, and an air all along the tracks. Looking at your left innate explosive eruption, this is a fast power zero range, destroy X presence in target land, um, this damage will be dealt to both invaders and to Han, and then you have different tiers. In addition, you have these different tiers based on the number of destroyed presents. And um, the, the more presents you destroy, the larger the eruption. And I'm not going to read through all of the different tiers. Really, the, only the first three tiers have text. This last line doesn't really come up much. The left innate is destroying presents, and the right innate is restoring that destroyed presence. So... The first tier, adding that destroyed fi uh, that destroyed presence, then you can spend two energy to gain power cards, and then um, this third tier lets you move presence to different lands, and then the final threshold lets you put presence back on the tracks. Once again, this final threshold really just doesn't have any text. You never want to do this, and then sometimes this third, I'd say, like ninety percent of the time, this just doesn't have text either. Looking at the power cards. First, we have Rain of Ash, which is a two energy slow power, fire, air, earth. You get two fear, push two to Han, and two explorers towns to lands without your presence. Then you have Lava Flows, which is a one energy slow, fire, earth, one range. You get to add a Badlands and Wilds, or deal a damage. You have Exaltation of Molten Stone, one energy fast, Moonfire Earth, target another spirit. Split one energy per fire you have between yourself and target spirits. Target Spirit gains plus one energy with their powers that originate from mountains. And finally, Pyroclastic Bombardment, three energy fast, Fire, Air, Earth, Sacred Sight, two range, one damage to each building and to Han, one damage, and then one damage to, to, to Han. So you have a control card, two utility cards, and a damage card. Looking at the Spirit Board here, a lot of times Volcano doesn't really choose this G2. You'll choose it maybe once or twice a game, but most of the game is going to be focusing on the G3 and that G1. And as a result, you don't really know, you don't really need to go along top track that often because getting plays is all you need because you'll be getting three energy from your G1 and two energy from your G3. So you'll be getting a lot of energy already. So you don't really need to invest that much in top track energy anyways. So, is this spirit for you? Volcano is a high tempo, fast damage spirit. You're going to be doing tons of damage to the spirit uh, to the invaders in the fast phase, sometimes in the slow, but mainly the fast phase. And um, your plan with Volcano is to start in that single land, damage adjacent invaders or damage invaders far away, and um, just blast them off the island. Um, now, as a result you're going to be destroying Dahan too. So this isn't a spirit that's going to be using Dahan like a lot of other spirits. Um, 
Now, a lot of times with Volcano, I'll try to draft a defend just so I can still gain access to uh, Dahan counterattacks and such. But you have several effects, your left innate, your special rule, and a power card that all kill Dahan. So it's going to be um, fairly challenging to keep them alive on your board. In addition, because Volcano is always starting in mountains and can't move to any other land types, it's going to restrict some of the cards that you can play, mainly in your major power deck, and it's also going to restrict your zone of domain. Right? If I'm playing on board C here, and I'm choosing, let's say I'm in this land right here, in land uh, C7, I'm going to have trouble dealing with any of the lands over here on uh, board D. And like, yes, I can grow into this mountain here, but a lot of times you're going to want to stay very contained just because every single presence you have is going to be doing damage. Now, Volcano gets to generate a lot of energy from the G1 and G3, so you can easily play majors, you can play minors, um, you can do all of that. Now, I do have a Volcano guide. If this is a spirit that you're struggling with, I highly recommend you give that a look. It is pretty updated. I haven't included any Nature Incarnate stuff yet in that guide, but I will be adding that in a couple videos down the road. If you like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I will see you guys in the next video.